Hi, I'm Rick Crane of Angler's Artistry, and as a professional airbrush artist, the compressor of choice that we use here is Silent Air Technology. Typically, on a daily basis, when we're teaching students from all over the world, we use a 20A silent compressor. What I want to introduce and show you today is the Silent Air 50TC. What we're going to do is we're going to take it right from the box, show you how to set it up, show you how to put it together and what little maintenance there is to do with it. And we're going to show you how this airbrush compressor can change some of your bigger operations in your shop. Silent Air compressors come very well packed. We've just take the foam out around the top here and what we're going to do right now is we're going to take the convenient handles that come with it and we're going to take this right out of the box. What we're going to do now is we're going to take the plastic off and show you actually how to set up your silent air compressor. What we're going to do is we're going to show you some of the materials and some of the parts that we're going to use here to set up our silent air 50 TC. What we're going to do is first and most importantly is we're going to take out our instruction manual which obviously comes with our compressor here. And in the instruction manual it's going to have some of the data and the uh, information for maintenance. Uh, basically max on, max off as far as time and motor is concerned. We're going to look at basically where to put the oil um, and how the basic operation of this works. It's a very, very simple and straightforward compressor to put together and it's very, very low maintenance. Silent Air actually sends their own compressor oil th that'll go along with it. We're going to end up putting our oil right into the top where it identifies as oil. <clears throat> then it has a little peekaboo window that allows us to see exactly that our levels are where they need to be. We're going to need a hydraulic coupler, and this is what your, uh, the male part of your airbrush line is going to fit into. We're going to need a little bit of Teflon tape, which we're going to put around the, uh, the male part here of our intake valve. And the silent airs come with their own moisture trap. It comes with its own air gauge, so you can always see exactly where you are as far as how to set your air and, and how much pressure that your tank's going to have. It also has a bleeder valve down here. What I would recommend is that at the end of each use of your compressor that you open up this breather valve and allow all your air to drain out of your tank. It's good for your seals and it's also good for the long life and uh, longevity of your compressor. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a closer look and the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to put on our hydraulic coupler. So we're going to take out a little Teflon tape here and what we're going to do with our Teflon tape is we're just going to put this right along our, our little fitting right here. And this is going to assure that we have a, a good seal. Once you get that on there, I wet my fingers and I'll just twist in a counterclockwise direction because that's the way that I put the Teflon tape on. I'm going to take the female end here and I'm going to attach it to the male end. And I'm going to put it on basically finger tight at this point. Then I'm going to take some channel locks and I'm going to set it to where it needs to be for the fitting. Now I'm going to put this on until it's basically snug. Okay. And at this point, uh, once we test this, if I hear a leak here, then I'll tighten it up even more. But usually just snug is, is more than fine. What we're going to do um, at this point is we can take our airbrush um, connection here. And this is the male part of our airbrush connection. And that can fit right into there. And that's where that's going to go for your airbrush hose and your airbrush line. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at putting oil into our compressor. What we're going to do now is we're going to take the oil that has been supplied by the Silent Air Company and we're going to put it right inside here. As you can see there's a little bubble window or a clear window down here with an indication that it needs to be half full with oil. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour in our oil until we see it come right up to about that level. This convenient container also comes with its own little spout. Okay, we can take the cap right off of there and just test it to make sure that oil will come out, and it will. So what I'm going to do here is right up top, there's a little nut here that says oil. And I'm going to undo this by hand 
And as you can see, it says oil right here. It also comes with a little safety tag in several different languages that says do not operate unless you have oil in the container. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to put our oil in and we're going to watch this thing fill. And I'm just going to keep squeezing until the oil fills up the bottom of this container. Now that we have our oil in our compressor, what we're going to do is we're going to put on the breather valve that actually comes with it. It's like an air filter that fits right onto the side of the tank. What we're going to do is we're just going to screw that right into place. Okay. Once that's into place, we're going to locate where our, our plug is carefully. Cut this little zip tie right here. And the very next thing we're going to do is plug in our compressor. Okay, I'm going to turn the compressor around so we can take a look at it. Okay, and then I'm going to turn it on. Now, to set our air pressure, we're going to come over here and take a little bit of a closer look. What we're going to show you now is actually how to set your air pressure. What we're going to do is we're going to pull this up and that releases the lock and we're going to turn clockwise and this will actually set your air pressure. Once you have it set where you like, you just put it down and that's where it will stay. One of the beauties of the silent air compressors is that once we hook up an airbrush to this, it'll always stay at that and it won't have the drop ratio that you'd get through conventional compressors. Now what we're going to do is hook up our airbrush and we're going to show you a little bit of practice drills and show you how loud this compressor is compared to other compressors. I have the male end of my compressor line for my airbrush. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull back on the female end of the hydraulic coupler and I'm going to plug that right into place. What we're going to use here today is this is our Badger Chrome. This is the RK Chrome airbrush from Badger and it is definitely um, a high-end professional airbrush that we're going to use with a high-end professional airbrush compressor. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send this through a little bit of a drill and a little bit of a test here. And I'm going to spray a little bit with it until the compressor actually cycles so you can hear how loud it actually gets. I'm just going to do a little bit of practicing and a little bit of airbrush drills here with my airbrush for a moment. So we're hearing the compressor actually cycle right now. One of the beautiful things about the silent air compressors, and that's, that's as noisy as it's going to get. That's as noisy as it gets when it cycles. One of the beautiful things about the silent air air compressor is that as they get older, they tend to become actually a little bit more quiet once they break in and once they settle in. As long as you check your oil and change it at least once a year, and, and we typically change ours about twice a year because we use compressors every single day here in our shop. This compressor will last you for thousands of hours, um, a real long time. The oldest silent air compressor that we have here is a little over 23 years old. So that'll tell you exactly how solid of a piece of equipment they actually are. What I want you to do here is we're going to compare the sound of this compressor to a traditional air compressor. What we're going to do now is we're going to compare the sound of the two compressors. You've already got to hear the, the 50TC silent air compressor. It comes in at around just under 40 decibels. What you're going to hear right now is the sound of a traditional, conventional, off the shelf from one of the major uh, uh, hardware type of brand name stores that you're going to buy a compressor at. What you're going to hear is a much different sound. This compressor that you're going to hear is rated around 64 decibels. So let's take a listen to that. And as you can hear, that's quite loud and it's quite disturbing. About 30 years ago when I started airbrushing, uh, you know, for a living that is, I had traditional type of compressors and, and they were really, really noisy back then, 70 decibels, you know, right down to about 65 decibels. And what I did one day is I went in for a physical and during that physical, 
it was notified to me that I had about a 40% hearing loss. And that was just in a four year short period of time of using commercial compressors being in the same building in the same location. So as a professional airbrush artist and someone who does this every single day for a living, your hearing is just as important as any other aspect of your life, especially if you want to have it for a long time. I've been using the Silent Air products for just about well over 25 years now and what I found is that when that compressor kicks on you don't have any nervous reaction or it doesn't uh, bother your hearing because it's virtually very 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 quiet. As a professional airbrush artist I would recommend that you protect your hearing at all costs. I'm Rick Crane of Anglis Artistry and if you're looking for a larger type of compressor to run multiple airbrushes or a larger manifold to run multiple airbrushes the Silent Air Super 50 TC is our choice. As you know, if we don't use it, we won't even talk about it here in our shop. On behalf of Anglers Artistry and Silent Air, I wish you my very best.